Hello, my name is Xander. Welcome to this Django ORM query challenge. You can follow along with this challenge like a tutorial if you're just getting started out or use it to test your current Django ORM skills. Links to the source code and setup instructions are in the video description. In this challenge 1.1, our goal is to build a Django query that will retrieve all active products from the database. So we need to return all fields and we need to sort by name in descending order. Do take a moment to try it yourself. Pause the video here and if or when you're ready, I'll walk you through the solution step by step. Right, so the first step, we need to identify where products are stored. If we head over to inventory models, we can access the Django models. We can see that products are stored in the product model. So we're going to be working with the product model. It has already been imported in at the top of the file. So that's where we're going to start. Right, so let's start with the product model. Now this represents the product table in the database. So next up, we're going to need objects. So this is Django way of, of course, giving us access to querying the database. And now we're going to return, first of all, all of the products. So if we were to use this Django query, it would simply select all the products from the product table and return all of them. Now we're told here that we need to retrieve all active products only. If we take a look at the model, we can see that we have an is active field. This is a Boolean field. If the Boolean field is set to true, it means the product is active. So we're going to need to filter for active products only. So let's use a filter for that. And we need to specify the field is active and it needs to be set to true in order to return the product. The last instruction, we need to order what is returned in our query by the name in descending order. So let's use order by, let's specify the name field that we have in our model. And now we need to specify descending order. Now descending order for the name, remember the name is a string field. So this is going to be ordered in alphabetical order, starting from Z to A. So that's descending order. Now the default behavior with the order by method is that it sorts in ascending order. And so we need to change and tell it to sort in descending order. So we do that by using the, the minus symbol next to the name of the field. In this case, the field's called name. So now we can load up our Docker containers and see it in action. Make your way over to the documentation, localhost colon 8080 slash docs. And we can see here that we have challenge one one, we can execute and we can now view the query in action. We can see that we're returning products that are set to is active. We can see that it is in descending order by name. So I is the first product shown and then the name of the last product starts with an A. Now, if you want more challenges and do check out our YouTube playlist, and if you're ready to master all the skills behind these queries, then jump into our full Django RM mastery course. It's designed to take you from the ground up. All the links to the resources are in the video description. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for weekly promotions and course giveaways.